we all are agreed that national security is a very important facet of nation's entire existence. In fact, existence is not possible without a certain degree of uh, security. Now, in that field, there are various issues that come up in case of national security. One is the product development. After all, the wherewithal for defense and security in terms of weapon systems, complete platforms, integrated platforms, etc., they have to be developed, operationalized, and used. Now, as the technology marches and since the armed forces have to constantly match their resources with the likely adversaries, there is always a need for constant upgradation, building up of new systems, and getting new weapons, as well as certain constructions, etc. All these are essentially projects. Unfortunately, the culture of the national security apparatus in India, and maybe in many other countries also, is such that under the garb of security and security of information and not letting anybody else know, everything is carried out under the cloak of secrecy, basically to hide a lot of inefficiencies. The problem in this is that the people who conceive a project or conceive a system, a weapon system or a platform, the people who use it, the people who sanction the funding, all three operate in separate, separate silos. We do not have a project approach to build up of new systems at all. The systems are developed in isolation based on inputs of, of some level of the users. The product is created, sent to the user for what we call as user trials. The users then look at it, find flaws or find shortcomings, etc., etc., get back to the developers. The developers rectify that fault, again it comes back. So all this, of course, takes time. So you lose, you miss deadlines. You find that an equipment enters service, by that time it has already become obsolete. obsolete. So all this is happening because this process keeps on getting repeated. There is no integrated project management concept. Instead, if we were to approach this whole issue, where right from the conception of an idea, of a system, the users, the developers, and the people who are to fund the whole system are together in this. Then this business of uh, creating a product, trying it out, finding out the flaws can easily be short-circuited. You can save costs, you can save time, and you can actually get a product which is usable. Now, in this whole uh, system, unfortunately, we do not have as yet uh, sufficient amount of lateral induction from institutions, private uh, companies into the government. And it is so far still a government monopoly, but though I think now that uh, the defense production sector is being opened up to private uh, enterprise, I think the concept of uh, project management will come in and certainly project managers who are successful in the CV street into getting multiple uh, users uh, as well as uh, technologies and various things together and creating a product, if they volunteer and get into the defense sector, it would be a great help to the national cause and uh, it will help cost, save costs, taxpayers money. So there is a lot of scope for volunteerism and also making essentially 
making the taxpayers money go furthest possible.